So today I'm going to show you how to set up Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi using a Windows computer. So at this point I've already plugged in my SD card uh, with SD card adapter into my laptop so I'm good to go in that sense and the first thing you need to do after that is download whatever image you want to use. So um, you can, if you go to the Raspberry Pi website, I'll link you to it in the description, um, you can either choose to download Noobs or if you are sure you just want Raspbian then um, the one that most default users are going to want is the Raspbian Stretch with desktop. So it's the newest version of Raspbian and then it has the desktop so it has like a full monitor uh, support that you can use your mouse and keyboard. It really feels like um, like Windows or something. So um, if you want more of a command line then you can go with Raspbian Stretch Lite instead. So um, you can just click on the download zip to download it. If you're more familiar with torrents, if you have crappy internet, you probably want to think about going that option, but either one will work fine. We'll give you the same file. So um, after it's downloaded, then you'll just have this zip file. Um, it's pretty big, it's 1.4 gigs, so uh, it's gonna take a while to download. Um, but the next thing you need to do is get this program called Etcher. So um, I'll link you to this as well in the description, but you can just download this program. And when it downloads, just double click on it to run it. And what this does is actually writes the operating system to the SD card for you. And it also does a couple other cool things, um, mainly that it makes it so it doesn't matter what your current SD card is formatted as. Like I form formatted mine as NTFS just to prove a point kind of, but normally they say to format it FAT32, but Etcher doesn't care. It's going to just utilize it either way. So first thing to do when, it, when Etcher pops up is to go and select your image. So in my case, that's going to be this 2018-1009 Raspbian Stretch. Yours, when you download it at a different point in time, uh, the date will obviously be a little bit different, but um, it's just going to be that big zip file. So just double click on it there. And then the next part is very important. So whatever you select here um, for this SDHC card, it's going to completely delete all of the content on that drive and install Raspbian on it. So if there's anything you want to keep on there, such as photos and stuff, make sure to get that um, off of there beforehand, but then also make sure that you're actually selecting the drive that you think. So um, potentially there could be multiple drives that pop up here, so double check that the one that you're selecting is the one that you want to install Raspbian on, and it will wipe out anything that is currently on there. So this is the one I want to write to, so I'm just going to hit continue and now I can just hit flash. Depending on the speed of your SD card, this could take anywhere from a few minutes to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even longer. So I'm um, just kind of sit back, relax, let it do its thing. Once it's finished, you'll probably see a few windows like this pop up. And that's very normal because um, the process of installing Raspbian creates several partitions on the SD card and only some of them windows can read. So um, I'll just hit cancel there and hit okay. Um, do it again and then so this boot partition is the one that Windows can actually read so that's why this one shows up normally but um, essentially if you just look at the window here it says that it completed successfully so now we're good to go um, at this point you can take out the SD card and then slide it into your Raspberry Pi and then connect it to the display and the keyboard and mouse and you'll be able to use it as a desktop so then when you plug in your Pi and boot it up you should um, get this screen to start with so then you can just go forward with uh, utilizing your Pi however you wish. 